You know, it's a very long history. We started teaching military tactics in 1863, and we've had an ROTC program since 1917, with more than 7,000 officers commissioned in all branches of service since that time. Right now, 17% of the World Campus is military students. So uh, that was the genesis, was affordability, making Penn State be the, the default campus, the default university for the United States military to go to school and get a higher education. If you look at Penn State University, this is a place that really um, values service, appreciates service, connects with service, and um, you know I think there's no better example of that than our military. They come here, they're serious students, they work hard, some of them work two and three jobs, and they go out and become productive members of society. And we better be prepared. We got a lot of military that's going to be coming here in Penn State should take advantage of that. My name is Brian Dockerty. I'm 20 years old. Uh, I'm in the United States Air Force and I'm studying business management through Penn State World Campus. The support of the Scholarship Foundations up at Penn State World Campus, it's very important to me and I know other military students that receive scholarships for military reasons because it allows us to further our education. This is our opportunity to create the next greatest generation. And I think we should embrace it and, and encourage it. The Military Appreciation Day that we held this last year at Penn State and at a Penn State football game, uh, you could just feel the energy across campus. Incredible event in Pagola, offering a, a tailgate environment and a tailgate celebration for our military veterans and their families. Our purpose in Walmart is to, to save people money so they can live better. So you see where something like an event like this would fall right in line with that. And you get to serve a hot plate of food to a veteran and you get to thank them for serving. Thank you uh, for what you're doing to keep us, uh, keep us free and keep us safe. I could feel the energy in the room. You know what that energy was? Patriotism and love for each other. So that's what you get to feel. I think it was big for the campus, but I also think it was great for our players to kind of have some perspective on it as well. Sacrifice and the commitment that people in the military make to provide this for us is unbelievable. So we talk about it all week long with our players and making sure we're really appreciative of this and not take it for granted. I think very personally, it's an opportunity for uh, the Penn State Athletic Department to say thank you uh, and, uh, and really showcase uh, what our military does for us. You know, the fact that the Penn State community would step up with 6,000 tickets um, donated to, to servicemen um, or veterans is awesome. And I'm, I'm hoping next year we can break the record and be over 10,000. Um, I think it's just a tremendous statement from the Penn State community. I'm just extremely proud of the folks that are involved in it. And the partnership with the university has been great to see uh, the collaboration there. These people deserve it, and, and we've, we've got we've to help them out. And I would encourage and recommend everybody to, to at least come out and support it. I just want to thank the Military Scholarship Committee for offering me a scholarship and allowing me to continue my education. Uh, and I certainly uh, want to thank all of those sponsors and all of those behind this effort who make it possible for us to create this great environment and this great day and this great opportunity to recognize service. Here we've had this week of military appreciation and, and it's wonderful. Um, but I just don't want to forget the fact that this is uh, the type of appreciation and effort that, that of course we need and want to put in every single day. Don't let one soldier go unloved.